In the other end, I've got a uh, just a little, I think it's an inch and a half putty knife. Use that for just about everything. Inside these little, they got these little slot pockets in here. I've got a razor blade holder. I've got a mill bastard file. I've got a pair of linesman's pliers. I've got one of these things I got at Home Hardware, um, which is good for holding screws while you're while you're uh, installing them. Combination square. I've got this is a little pair of pliers they had at Lee Valley for holding uh, a nut while you're doing up the bolt, which sometimes saves my fingers. I have two different pairs of of wire strippers. I do a lot of electrical. I have a little uh, compass in here, heavy duty compass. And I have two sizes of crescent wrenches. Now inside the bottom you can't really see, there's a bit of a bin down here. I've got electrical tape, I've got those little nails for my pin nailer, I've got Teflon tape, I've got one of these sanding blocks and a stubby screwdriver and uh, one of those little things that's got all the allen keys in it and I've even got a little tester for um, you know for plugging into the wall outlet to see if it's wired properly I like to double check so now I'll flip the bag over and show you the other side here's another example of something that uh, doesn't always sit in this tool bag and has to go back in the big toolbox <laughs> big pair of water pump pliers um, they don't sit in here, but sometimes they're, especially when you're doing like a drain job or something like that, nice to have handy. I'll just put that aside. I always carry gloves. I like to work with these kind of, um, I guess mechanics gloves or whatever you want to call them. One of the big changes or differences from my other tool bag is that I carry the drill in this bag and I didn't do that before. It's handier, but it also makes this bag quite a bit heavier. So I like to carry this DeWalt set of drills, which has just about every size up to about a half inch or something like that, I don't know. And it's nice to have this case. These I've had these drills actually for 10 years. I've never lost one. They're very aggressive. They're great for doing renovations, but they're lousy for woodworking. So even though I keep a little set for some stuff in the shop, I don't use these for woodworking. I also carry my DeWalt 18 volt drill and that's another thing which I don't recommend for woodworking. It's great for putting a deck together but it's lousy for drill, for installing little screws on a cabinet so I have a smaller drill in the shop. Speed square, so that sits in one of these little pouches here on the edge. These little pouches on the edge are actually sort of lined with some kind of plastic material for, and I think it's designed for edge tools. And in here I keep like an assortment of chisels, so I got a half inch, I think I've got a three quarter inch, I got another, that's my new quarter inch chisel which I gotta take the other one out. And I like my big old marbles uh, inch and a half chisel, I use that for a lot of stuff, so that always lives in my tool bag. No good for woodworking, but it's great for renovation. I carry clamps in other bags, so if I need a, more clamps or something, I grab a different bag. But a lot of the times I can get by with just these two little quick grip clamps from Irwin. I keep a, just a regular old cheap, it's a, I think this is a foot print, so it's made in England, it's a little block plane. I keep that in there. I keep a drywall saw. I keep a rasp, a half round rasp that I use for drywall plumbing pipes sometimes. I keep a little hacksaw, little hand one, blade seen better days. I keep a stud finder and it sits in a nice pocket in here. Also in a nice pocket in here is my, my chalk line. And I got a pocket. The only level I carry around all the time is this little st 
Stabila or Stabila or whatever um, torpedo level, which is my favorite little level. In the end, I've got these little tiny pockets like they're full of nail sets, and I've got this center punch thing for hinges and that sort of stuff. Oops, it's down in the bottom now. And in the bottom of this is very little. There are three things in the bottom, and I'm not even going to pull, well, I'll pull one out. A larger pry bar. I've got a big box of replacement blades for my utility saw. And the only other thing I've got in here, other than, oh, well, actually two more things. I got this um, Romex Lumex uh, ripper thing to open it up easier. And Bum Bob. And that's it. That's everything that's in my tool bag. And I can do almost everything with just that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.